Hey, Ian Hamilton here from Alkaway, and we've had a question this morning about boiling Alk stream, sorry, ultra stream water. Uh, if you boil water coming out of an ultra stream, you will lose the H2 effect because H2 is a gas. Uh, it's infused in the water in the cold state, but obviously if you agitate the water as you boil it, you're going to lose it. You won't lose the alkaline minerals, they're in the water and they'll stay in the water. Uh, I can, I'll tell you what I do at home, we've got a little coffee maker with a little tank on it, and we use the alka sachets, and we leave an alka sachet in the tank, which is alkalizing the water all the time. Now, you may have seen demonstrations of tea infusing very well in alkaline water. Well, the reason it infuses well in alkaline water and coffee is that when you alkalize water, it is able to infuse or take up flavor better. So you'll find that you'll use less coffee or you use less tea. Not sure how you use a three quarters of a tea bag, but fundamentally what we're talking about is, yes, if you do boil the water, you will lose the H2. And to many of our friends who say, must I boil the water with my ultra stream? Absolutely not. The filtration on the ultra stream is incredible.